Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, the author of Survival Burmese and Easy Burmese, both from Tuttle Publishing. Take a look at this headline. It reads, One more time. Let's break it down, shall we? Atetanchang is high school. Biam Puenbo is to reopen. This is a verb phrase, Biam Puen, reopen, marked with the aim or goal marker Bo, making it to reopen. Ake Ake Shine means there are difficulties here. The noun Ake Ake, difficult, is followed by the verb Shine to exist or to be. So, what is the expression to cho behind the noun Atetan Chang? Why is it not just Atetan Chang but Atetan Chang to cho? That is a specifier particle for some. So, atetan chang de cho means some high school. Meaning, some high schools, but not all, are having difficulty reopening. Let's take a look at another headline, shall we? This one reads, A che gam pianya sa thin jang alum zulai ladwen piam puem mi. A che gam pianya sa thin jang alum zulai ladwen piam puem mi. The first part, a che gam pianya means basic education. Sa Den Jiang is school. Zulai La Duen is in July or in the month of July. Pian Puen Mi is reopen in future tense. So, will reopen. Again, what is the expression along behind the word Sa Den Jiang? That's the word that means all, the specifier for all. So that means in the month of July, all basic education schools will reopen. Now, let's take a look at this headline. Changkanye is a short version of the current opposition party in Burma. That's the whole name. Changkanye is how they are known shortly. Lu Siyan is the compound word making up of the word Lu for people and Siyan for list, meaning the registry or the roll call. Wen Ji Hang, former minister, is made up of the word Wen Ji, minister, followed by Hang, the old or former. Piam Pa is the operative verb here. At the end of the sentence, it means to be included again. So what is the word Amyazu behind the word Wen Ji Hang? That is the specifier that means most or a majority. Taken altogether, this headline means in the list of people or registry for Chiang Kai Party, most of the former ministers are included again. Let's put into practice what you have learned, shall we? Let's say you want to describe the English-speaking ability of a group of students at a particular high school. Let's start with saying something like this. Di atetan chiang ga, chiang da along English ga pyo da te. Di atetan chiang ga, chiang da along English ga pyo da te. Di tetan chang ga, belonging to this high school or from this high school. Then you say chang da alum, that means all the students, not just some students, but all the students. The specifier alum makes it all. The last part, English zaga piodate, means can speak English, know how to speak English. So what you're saying in this sentence is all the students from this particular high school can speak English. Now the same statement but with a variation. Di atetan chang ga chang da te chou. Ingling zaga pyo da te. Di atetan chang ga chang da te chou. Ingling zaga pyo da te. Now that means some students from this high school can speak English. The specifier te chou following the noun chang da makes it some students. Another twist here. Di atetan chang ga chang da amyazu. That means most or a majority of the students from this high school can speak English. The specifier amyazu means most or a majority. I think you get the idea how to add quantity specifiers to your nouns now. So let me give you some more specifiers. Doro mya is quite a lot. Doro mya mya. That means quite a lot. Amyazu is a majority or a large portion, and its opposite is anezu, meaning a minority or 
just a small portion. When talking about a small amount, it sounds more natural to say just a few or only a small number, as you might do in English. So in Burmese, that is anezu lao pe, anezu lao pe, just a small portion or a minority. So talking about politics in general, you might say something like di pati ga wenji toromyamya lasare, di pati ga wenji toromyamya lasare. Quite a lot of ministers from this party takes bribes. With a positive spin, you can also say di pati ga wenji anezu lao pe yo tare, di pati ga wenji anezu lao pe yo tare. Only a small minority or just a small portion of the ministers from this party are honest. We should take a closer look at the use of the chok for some. Earlier in the news story, some high school is written as a tetan chaun de chok, a tetan chaun de chok. Now look at this news story. This is about the refugees from some villages fleeing the fighting between the government troops and the armed group AA in Arakan region. The reference to some villages is written as the cho yuari, the cho yuari. The specifier the cho can go behind the noun or it can come before the noun. But you need to do something different when you put the specifier in the front. You need to change the noun into a plural noun. In other words, to say some villages, you can say yuari the cho. The cho comes after the noun, or you can say the cho yuari. The cho comes in the front, followed by a plural noun, yuari, villages. The same idea. To say some high schools, you can say atetan chaun de cho, or you can say the cho atetan chaun de. The cho atetan chaun de. Atetan chaun de is the plural form of high school atetan chaun. Some pagodas or some temples can be expressed as paya de cho, paya de cho. Or another alternative is the cho payade, the cho payade. To say some ministers, you can say wenji the cho, wenji the cho, or the cho wenji de, the cho wenji de. The second option to put the specifier in front of a plural noun does not work with the other specifiers taught in this lesson. For example, you shouldn't say alon wenji de. To make it all the ministers, you should say "wenji alo." To refer to a majority of the students, you should not say "amyazu jangdade." That is highly unusual and non-standard. The standard way of saying is "jangda amyazu." Let's review, shall we? Alo is the specifier for all, the cho for some, amyazu for most or a majority, anezu for a tiny portion or a minority. Doromyamya for quite a lot. This year has been a difficult year for many because of the pandemic and the disruptions in their livelihood. So you might say, "Dine COVID nineteen jump lu doromyamya siboye ake ake sinere." One more time, "Dine COVID nineteen jump lu doromyamya siboye ake ake sinere." This year, because of COVID, quite a lot of people are having economic hardship or difficulties. I hope you're not one of them. Stay safe. We will get through this together and keep speaking Burmese. Okay? This fall, I'll begin teaching intermediate Burmese at UC Berkeley. The class is also available to UC LA students as distant learning option. The class will be conducted entirely on Zoom. Remote class. Those of you who are enrolled in my class, I will see you soon. I'm looking forward to it. Talk to you later. Namaste, me.